So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to Steam and then you want to find Call of Duty. You want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on Installed Files and then click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. If you're using Battle.net, you want to head over to Call of Duty and then you want to click on Settings which is next to Play and then this window will come up and then you want to click on Scan and Repair. Now for the second step, you want to head over to File Explorer and then you want to click on Documents. You want to find Call of Duty, you want to click on Call of Duty and then you want to delete the players folder. Don't worry because once you open up Call of Duty again, there's going to be a new players folder remade. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in graphics settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that under add an app, you have desktop app selected and then click on browse. Now you want to find where you have Call of Duty installed. So if you play Call of Duty on Steam, you want to click on this PC and then you want to click on the drive where you have Steam installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, program files 86. Scroll down, Steam, scroll down again, Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty HQ, and then MP23. And then you want to stick the mp23-cod.exe file, which will then make it appear here. You want to click on Options, and then click on High Performance, and then click on Save. You want to do the same thing if you're using Battle.net. You want to locate where you have Call of Duty installed in the Battle.net files. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.